guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I've created this very glamorous green smoky eye makeup look. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. So before I apply the eyeshadow, I'm just priming my eyelid with the Skin Match Protect Concealer from Astor. And I'm setting everything in place with the Catrice New Delusion Powder. eyelid makes it so much easier to plan all the colors together so I would not recommend skipping this step but anyways next I'm going in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I'm taking the shade Puree that's this light brown color here and I'm just blending it into my crease And I really take my time to build up the color instead of taking very much of the color at the beginning because it makes it so much easier to blend it all out and that it looks more natural and diffused. Next I'm taking the Soeva Cocoa Blend Palette and that's just because it has a very matte black shade and the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette just has this very glittery black shade and for this look I just want to go with this matte one. And I just applied on the outer V of my eye and a little bit into my crease just to deep up the look a little bit. And then I'm taking again the brown color from the other palette and I blend these two colors together. Now moving on to the star of the show, it's this single eyeshadow here from Sephora and it's in shade Go Green. I'm just taking my ring finger to apply the eyeshadow on my eyelid. Just because it's too hard to get into the inner corners with my finger, um, it's way too big, I just take a little brush and apply the eyeshadow with this brush. And to intensify the shimmer and the color a little bit more, I'm taking the Prime and Fine Fixing Spray from Catrice and I'm just spraying it onto the brush. And then I'm packing the color onto the eyelid. So for this purpose, the brush is a little bit too small, so I'm taking a bigger brush. So now I'm waiting a few seconds until the color is completely dry and then I'm just blending all the colors together and for that I'm taking this brown shade again from the Sweet Peach palette and I also take the same brush again. So if you're recreating this look, just take your time with blending. I know it takes a lot of time until the eyeshadow is completely Blend it out, but I promise you the result is definitely worth the time. I'm so sorry guys, but my camera has died. Um, but I haven't done a lot. I've only lined up the lash line with the Eye Artist Liquid Eyeliner from Astor. Um, yeah, it's definitely not the best liquid eyeliner on this planet, but it's okay. Um, all my other ones have tried out, so... That was my only possibility. Next I'm going in with mascara and for that I'm taking the Wonderfully Real Mascara from Rimmel. And I just apply a little bit on my upper lashes. Not too much because I will apply falsies afterwards. So I will apply these eyelashes now very quickly and if you don't know how to apply eyelashes I've recently uploaded a video on this topic. It's a very beginner friendly video so I will leave the video link down below so definitely make sure you check it out. So I think these eyelashes fit perfectly to this look but you can totally skip eyelashes or use more natural ones. It's totally up to you but I really like the result and I think they make such a huge difference. And yeah, but anyways, um, let's move on to the face. For primer, I'm taking the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Smoothing Primer. And I only use a little bit 
just to make the foundation stay in place. I just need to clip back my hair. One second. So that's so much better. But anyways, let's move on to foundation. And for this I'm taking the L'Oreal Perfect Match Foundation in the shade 3R's 3C, Rose Beige. And this foundation has a perfect color now for my skin tone. That makes me so happy because all my other foundations are way too light or way too dark. But this one is just perfect. And I just apply this foundation with my damp beauty sponge. But even if your foundation fits perfectly, don't forget to blend it down your neck to get a very even um, result and that your neck and your skin look totally the same. And also don't forget to blend into your hairline. And for concealer, I'm taking my favorite concealer at the moment and it's the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Romine Concealer in the shade 01. And I apply a little bit underneath my eyes in a triangle shape. And then I'm taking the damp beauty sponge again to blend it all out. And I also try to bring it a little bit into the inner corners because they are very dark at the moment. Then I put a little bit onto my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and a little bit onto my chin. So concealer is done. I won't go in with a second layer underneath my eyes just because this concealer is full coverage, so I don't need a second layer. And to set all these places where I've put concealer on, I'm just taking the Catrice Nude Illusion powder again. Now it's time to finish up the eyes and for that I'm using the Sweet Peach palette again and this is a light brown color and I just buff this brown color underneath my lower lash line and then I'm going in with the black color from the Cocoa Blend palette but I just only apply it here on the outer half of my eye. corner or near the inner corner of my eyes I'm applying the green eyeshadow again and I'm basically connecting the green eyeshadow from the upper lid with the green eyeshadow from my lower lash line for my inner corners and brows, I'm taking the Catrice Baked Highlighter Palette um, and it's called Better Than Platinum. And I'm just taking this rose gold shade here called um, We Rock Queen. Now we are nearly done with the eyes. Last but not least, I'm taking the same mascara again. Let's move on to bronzer and for that I'm taking the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula and mine is completely destroyed but there is so much left so I don't want to throw it away as you can see For blush, I'm taking the Catrice Strobing Blush in the shade Mrs. Summer Peach. And I'll just apply a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. Now moving on to the best part of this video, highlighter. And for this I'm taking the Better Than Platinum Highlighter Palette from Catrice. And I take the same shade again that I've used for my inner corners and my brows. I really like this highlighter, it's so intense and I think it fits perfectly to this very glamorous and dramatic eyeshadow look. 
So now moving on to lipstick and for that I'm using the Sephora liquid lipstick in the shade 39 and it's a very nude color and I think it fits perfectly to this eyeshadow look because I always prefer very nude colors when I have a ton of eyeshadow on my eyes and a very dramatic eyeshadow look and I think this brown color fits perfectly to the green eyeshadow. So that's the finished makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!